Whoever sure. wrote this is a genius. <laughs> yeah, whatever bought onion nuggets. It's, it's worth considering. So this is the second greatest commercial. So they they admit that they can't even make the greatest commercial ever. Yeah, what the f kind of bullshit is that? Second greatest? Who f are you settling for second place? You f getting a participation like, trophy you know, here? That, like Tenacious D song tribute. They're talking about writing the greatest song in the world. Not so, like the, not, we, wrote, we wrote the second greatest song in the world. That, that's not how it works, dude. So dude, I'm already don't even want to watch this because these guys are like, we can only make the second greatest commercial ever. Well, f them that. AITJ 2.0 here. I have taken over your free will. Bill, Bill. You will subscribe and become a pessimist production. Hey, patron. You will enjoy live streams of Onion Nuggets every week and other shows such as <laughs> Deep Fat Friday. And episodes every Saturday. Abandon Hope. Ideology, you're wrong. Fighting boys, and more. Click the link. I have no hands, so you must click. Click, 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 click. <laughs> what I actually think she's trying to say. Making the same old excuses. <laughs> boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. Boys will be boys. But some ten million years ago, Gillette put out an ad that was like, "Men should be better. Girl power. Whatever the fuck. we're we're selling razors," and a bunch of conservatives was like yeah we hate this razor now and so daily wire put out their own razor it's like you don't have to shave with no woke razor you can shave with our piece of shit and it sucked and no one liked it but whatever it sold because it was the conservative razor or whatever right. and then time went on and i had kind of just assumed that you know this grift had stopped because no one was giving a shit about the woke Gillette ad anymore, but apparently still going on, I guess. Well, dude, it's not, it's an easy mass produced item that they can sell for a huge markup. Cause I guarantee you their shit's way more expensive <laughs> than if you buy from Gillette. Uh, yeah. And it's way shittier. It's like a shittier razor for a higher price because the razor is not real with your ideology. Like that's stupid. Well, okay. they, of course, of course, yeah. When you actually break it down, that is absurd. Naturally, All, most of these boycotts are. But yeah, but this remember, razor agrees with me. It's like yeah, you have to remember that this company has a, a vested interest in you believing that. So, of course, they're they they basically have created their own market. Is what they've done. They realize like, hey, how do we sell this shit to people? Oh, we got to tell them the other stuff they'd want to buy from mainstream companies is woke and bad and wants to destroy America. But we are good guys. So give us monthly subscription fees and buy our monthly product and buy these products monthly. So remember these razor subscriptions, that's how they get you, dude. It's like, oh yeah, 10 bucks a month. So the Daily Wire is just looking at this as another source of revenue. Not only, not only the one time sale, I guarantee if you go to the Jeremy's uh Razor's website, it's like dude, it doesn't want to sell you one time. It wants to sell you every month. That Gillette commercial, I feel like it was longer than two years ago. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah, but it's, it's performative outrage to sell razors. They don't give a 10 years ago they're like they're still woke gillette razor commercial um what was it called it was like men be men be better or some shit oh, shit like that wasn't a super bowl ad last not this All right uh it was like gillette's we ago. believe okay this is what this is it right here when did this happen five years ago dude five years ago five years ago five years and they still give a shit oh my god they're f still pissed about some woke shit from five no, years ago they need to sell more razors uh yeah but they're f they couldn't do it if there wasn't an audience that's still like lit man five years ago they put out an ad i didn't like gay Dude, I love how they're, he's like showing off. Like, yeah, this is the car I got from Grift and you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Jeremy Boring, CEO of Daily Wire and founder of Jeremy. Uh, what? <laughs> so Jeremy Boring has recast himself as a black dude. That's a wise choice. It's razors. Woke razor companies love to take your money while trampling on your values. Me, I just love your money. That's fair. Okay, a little, well, I mean, a little, wink, little wink and a nod. Yeah, I don't trample on your values. I'll believe whatever the fuck you want, as long as you got some 
fucking money. You look like a reasonable man. And if you want to give me your money, whatever your morals, whatever you believe, just know deep down, I mirror them at all times. Oh, Hell great. Yeah. Take my money. Cut, cut, cut. What the hell is this? All right, I have to admit, I'm kind of invested. I'm a little bit invested in this, Scotty. Yeah, you want you say you want to know? I have to say, this is the first piece of Daily Wire content I've ever seen that actually has kind of got me hooked a little bit. Not much, but a little bit. TJ, no. Damn, TJ. You're being recruited. I'm a little right bit now. I'm a little bit invested yeah. in it. Sigh off, TJ. He's like, you know what? Maybe it ain't so bad. Maybe this is the beginning of my conservative arc. I'm starting to see what these people are laying down right here, you know? Don't say it ain't so, TJ. Say it. Oh, 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 oh. Whites versus minorities. Race war. Go! Whoa, this is some Charles Manson s shit, dude. Race war. Race yeah, war. Dude, Race shelter. war. Whoa, dude. TJ, this is going to be the end of everything. Oh, dude, are they going to kiss? I hope they kiss. Is that Michael Knowles? Dude, Michael Knowles is so cool. Yeah, dude. He's not gay at all. He's totally manly. and uh, dude, Look how f- badass he is, dude. Yeah, those, dude. Playing a guitar, dude. those shades are not wearing him at all. You notice no, that? No, not at all, dude. And you know what makes him look uh, really masculine, too? The way he's sucking that big brown f- cylinder like that that's you know? yeah. in his mouth i mean that is, is what a straight guy does dude yep that is what a straight guy does mm-hmm. look i've got some directions for my character like i need to be something uh sucking on some big and brown can we oh, do hey that? ben shapiro decided to dress how he probably actually dresses cool. <laughs> dude, 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 it's so true hey hey nobody calls cut on my set but me what do you run hollywood now two on the nose what is this is the Jews? That what's going on there? Little Jew, uh, little Jew thing, little Jew joke. Uh, I don't know. It fucking went over my head. I the Jews do. I think this. Uh, I think this chick over here is like reconsidering her participation in this commercial, dude. Yeah. Or either that, or she's just acting really hard and trying to look perplexed and nonplussed and invested in the conversation that's supposedly happening here. Whoa. Is this? We're filming the commercial for the brand new second generation Jeremy's Razor. Yeah, I get it. We moved our manufacturing out of China. Plus, with the new Sprint. Wait, you're all American. <laughs> it was always made in China. Anti- Anti woke Razor was fucking made in China. And now you got to put out a new ad letting people know, like, we moved our manufacturing out of China. It's in Singapore now. <laughs> okay. Three and precision five blades. You can shave like a man, not a manifesto. But who's not right. a man. my oh, uh my. I want to say that uh, that investment I was uh, referencing earlier they've they've lost me again. Shave like a man, not a manifesto. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out on this one. Who's he? I'm black. Not that I'm really in the market for a razor anyway. Jeremy. Oh, TJ, you know. What, oh, by the way, I, I I went to the website to figure out where the blades are made. So, dude, they're out of China. Yeah, I noticed they didn't say made in the USA. So you know I figured they just moved it. Do you think it's TJ? Do you think the answer is the United States of America? Do you think Singapore, dude. Singapore. Uh, now our blades are made in Korea and our handles are made in Vietnam. Wow. I mean, not that wow. I really give a shit, but I'm just saying, like, wow. Good job, Daily Wire. You guys. No longer made in China. We love America. We love America. Oh, America. Fucking America's dick every chance they get. Uh, can we make those razors in uh, the U.S.? Uh, add three dollars on per unit in cost. Oh, f- that. Uh, Vietnam and uh, yeah, we're Cambodia. Uh, no, uh, no, Sarah, Korea. Oh yeah, Korea. Whatever. Yeah, sign off on that. And you mind if we get a selfie? Oh yeah, come on. <laughs> Look, we talked about this. Customers want diversity. Customers want inclusion. Customers want. What, Jeremy? 
and for the commercials to be less macho. Can we please lose the flamethrower and the car? It's overcompensating and we need- Who are you? I'm Jessica. I've been following you around half naked for two years. Hope that makes you some kind of expert on advertising. Besides, don't you think it's a little insulting to black people? Oh, we prefer people of color. Don't you think it's a little insulting? What's going on? Huh? Guys, what's going on? They're resisting the this wokeness. woke cope fantasy thing that's happening is I've lost the plot, bro. I'm from completely and utterly off the plot now. I don't know what's happening, bro. The, the plot Can, uh, is that wokeness is destroying everything, and they're the only company that's doing it. I just, uh, I'm just like, um, what's going on though? But um, was, woke, was, but like woke woke bad. What, but somebody's but, being woke, and then I'm woke bad. Yeah. So woke, woke bad. Woke happened. Woke. woke stop, so I think stop. woke. Woke has TJ, happened. Stop it. Stop it. You're trying to, you look, I get what you're trying to do here, but stop. No, but I'm going to tell you exactly. No, uh, uh, okay. Quiet. Quiet. Yeah, sure. Here's all you ahead. need to know. Okay. Repeat after me. Woke. Yeah. Woke. Bad. Bad. I woke. Can't. Woke. Bad. Bad. Well, good. Woke. Bad. Good. Hey, you passed the test, TJ. A plus. Now you can. Now we're good to watch the rest of the ad. Now do you understand? Now can I? Now I get my tapioca cup. Think to black people of color that instead of giving them their own roles to play, you just recast them as a beloved white character. Hell yeah, it is. We don't do it for people of color. We do it for liberal white women. <laughs> I'll spell it out for you. Liberal white women make most of the purchasing decisions for the family, so happy commercials with people of color smiling at each other make them feel hella virtuous. Bitches love to feel virtuous. They do. Mm -hmm. That's why there's no white people in commercials anymore? When did that when There's did that no happen? white people in commercials? So all commercials have no white people? Really? I, mm. I missed that boat. I guess I don't watch a lot of commercials now, though, so I can't really gain say it. There's no commercial. Yeah, let me see this. I want to. I didn't know this. I didn't know this had happened. We're out of commercials. Only it happened. Yeah, dude, it's good. we're done. Yeah, they kicked us out of all the commercials. Apparently, shit. Well, that sucks. I guess I don't know. Maybe I don't really care. I guess. Exactly. But that's so gay. Sorry, I'm the body positivity hire. You are so brave. What is even happening right now? Think of all the razors you'll sell. And don't forget Jeremy's shampoo and conditioner. They are excellent products. Hey, what if I play your character a little less bitchy? <laughs> Unbelievable. Jeremy's ra Is this self-awareness? I think it's trying to be like we're They're watching, to, we're watching it like, like it's like you're watching like the first spark maybe of self awareness. Like it's starting to kind of like maybe they like know what it a, sounds like, but it's like it's like an alien that's heard it before but doesn't quite know how to reproduce it. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Is this comedy that we just saw? I think it's trying to be. It's an attempt at it. Somebody said conservative comedy, and I was like, "Oh, this was a comedy? Is this not? This was this was supposed to? We were? Whoa! Can somebody this tell me like what, the Burger King? What, what were we supposed to laugh at, though? Where was? Because like a comedy is like there's supposed to be funny things that happen, right? And like jokes that yeah, happen, like some kind of joke, maybe a like funny uh, relatable situation. Yeah, happened. That, don't, that didn't happen on this, dude. Some awkward happens, and everybody laughs. You know what I mean? Did anything happen? Nope. Did I missed it. Yeah, but but woke, bad. Oh, but woke. But woke for bad. people, white women. It's for men, conservative men. So stop giving your money to woke corporations who hate you. Give it to me instead. This okay, isn't so it's just, so it's just this mask uh, off or greedy. Yeah, I mean, I is the joke that you're being serious right now yeah well, well, you're supposed to you're just like many a truth is said in jest kind of thing is joke. this a quiet part loud moment or okay because that's literally like that's the daily why that's been the daily wires bread and butter for about five or six years now i think it's kind of weird that you have a sign that says shut up and shave and then there's a dude with a beard yeah none of you could shave off your little like shameful little beards to do this Thing? No. 
cameras. They're not part of your face. You know, they can uh, that back. You know what's weird about this commercial too? I don't think we actually saw the product at any point. What is the product? Razor. Oh, I guess I guess I have one like floating right there. Oh. Hey, oh, that's, not, that's like a gold one. They're not actually gold. Oh, white ladies. Oh, there we go. Finally. You know what's up. Go to jeremysrazors.com now and buy the new radically redesigned second gen razors. Feature- when are you talking no. about second gen? That's a Bic Quattro, bro. <laughs> radically redesigned, Paul. Radically. Shut the ground up. Bic left. Quattro, bro. No, that's a Bic Quattro, bro. What do you mean radically redesigned? Dude, you're probably made at some of the same Bic factories. Quattro? It's bullshit. It's fucking these, nonsense. Uh, please tell me these are at least cheaper than a, a Bic Quattro. They're more expensive than some of the best razor blades on the market because they agree with you, though, Paul. Paul, you know your right-wing ideology? These razor blades agree with it, okay? You, do you have any idea how important that is? Does my razor agree with me, though? Mm-hmm. Haven't you ever been shaving and thought to yourself, like, man, I hope this razor blade agrees with me politically, you know? You know what? And now I you finally have, can. I, the last time I shaved with a Bic Quattro, I was like... If, I feel like this is made for drag queens or something. Some woke about this razor on my face, and I don't yeah. like it. And then this one, maybe it doesn't feel that to have that yeah, same woke feeling. You'll feel manly as durability f- now in more inclusive three and five blade models. Okay, good for you. Wow, uh, second greatest commercial ever. Um, yeah, I have to say, it checks out. Second greatest commercial ever made. Amen. Amen. Uh, not, a, not clickbait at all. How many views does it have? Uh, Too goddamn many. 10 million. Oh, 10 million. Oh, but, oh, oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Go back. But only 1,700 comments. Oh, that's that's a bullshit. That's bullshit. Yeah, they're view botting the f out of that. We are um, fucking using video seeding to get that. Whoever shit. wrote this is a genius. <laughs> yeah, whatever bot. Get out of here. Give me a break bros